Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will try to discuss solving linear equations in one variable. And this is the part 2. Last time, meron tayo upload a video about solving linear equations at ito part 1 natin. You can see it here. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is 12x plus 30 is equal to negative 8x plus 16. So what is the first step on how to solve this linear equation. As you can see, sa magkabilang side natin, meron tayong dalawang variable x na mayroong kasamang constants. So, ang ginagawa dito guys is that you need to separate or you need to put the terms na like terms sa magkabilang sides ng equation. In this case kasi, what we have here is 12x and negative 8x are like terms as well as 30 and 16. They're like terms. So, what we need to do is to put negative 8x or this 8x term to the other side of the equation by transposition method. So we will transpose 8x or negative 8x to the other side and it will become 12x plus 8x. As you can see, magkasama sila sa isang side ng equation. So what about 30? We will also transpose 30 to the other side in which it will become is equal to 16 from positive, magiging negative 30 or minus 30. So as you can see, on the left side, meron tayong two terms with the variable x. On the other side, meron tayong two terms, pero both constants. So good style dyan. So what we have here is 12x plus 8x, add them. That is equal to 20x is equal to 16 minus 30. The answer is negative 14. And to finally solve this equation, divide both sides by 20. Divide by 20. You can cancel this out. Cancel. Cancel. So as you can see, you have the variable x. And all you need to do is to simplify this fraction. Negative 14 over 20 simplified as negative 7 over 10. And this is now the value of x for this given equation. So let's move on with the next example and let's try solving the second one. So what we have here is a long equation but don't worry you can solve this. What we have is 11 times 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 3x plus 9 times 1 plus 3x. So dito meron tayong parentheses, parentheses meaning multiplication. So we will use the distributive property. We will try to multiply 11 to 2x. 11 times 2x is 22x. Here, 11 times 3, that is plus 33, is equal to copy negative 3x first. And for this part naman, for this part, we will multiply 9 1 by 1. 9 times 1, that is 9. Then 9 times 3x is plus 27x. As you can see, both sides, meron tayong variable x. Pero before time will transpose, combine first these two terms. Itong 3x natin, saka yung 27x. I will copy first. 22x plus 33 is equal to negative 3x plus 27x, that is positive 24x plus 9. And after that, we will transpose 24 to the other side and 33 to the other side. So it will become copy 22x, then negative 24x is equal to copy your 9, transpose 33 to the other, to the other side, it will become negative 33. So simplify this. Since mas malaki yung negative, the answer is negative 2x. Is equal to this one. 9 minus 33 is negative 24. So simplifying this, divide both sides by negative 2. By negative 2. Guys, kung anong kasama ng variable x, yun yung magiging divisor natin. Eliminate this, eliminate this. You have x is equal to negative 24 divided by negative 2, the answer is 
positive 12. And this is now the variable x or the solution for this entire equation. So I hope guys learned something from this video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!